Hey guys, it's Angie here from Mostly Maple for another edition of Mostly Maple's Shoes Day Tuesday. And today I'm going to do just a quick little video on a very specific shoe. We're going to be talking about the fur slides. Now I'm sure that you've been seeing this type of shoe pop up all over the place. And if you haven't yet, then trust me, you will. This is going to be the next it shoe. You're going to be seeing them all over social media. All your favorite bloggers are gonna have them. All your favorite Instagram accounts are gonna have them. They're gonna be in every outfit of the night, outfit of the day, all over the place. How I got first introduced to them was actually by my mom, funny enough. Um, I'm usually pretty good on spotting the next trend on accident. I don't mean to say that in a snooty way like, oh, I'm so on trend and I, I'm so ahead of the times and I can always spot the next thing before anyone else. I just, I, I really do live by the philosophy that whatever looks good and feels good on me, then I wear and I don't care if it's in season or out of season, on trend, out of trend, I, I don't care. But it just so happens that a lot of the times things that I see that are new uh, and out in the stores for the first time I'm, I gravitate towards and I wind up falling in love with them and they just so happen to wind up being the next big trends a lot of the times that has happened. And the only person that you know, is better than spotting trends like that than me happens to be my mother. I guess that's where I get it from. And she's actually the one that first spotted the fur slide. She was shopping online one day or looking around. I, I don't really know the whole story, the whole thing, but all I knew is that around Mother's Day, I took my mom out for um, a, a lunch and then shopping. We have a, a restaurant we like to go to and then a shopping center and one of her favorite stores to go to is The Gap and then Urban Outfitters. And we were in Urban Outfitters and all of a sudden she sees these shoes and she just runs over. So when she saw these, she's like, oh my God, I, I have to get these for you. I have to get these for you. And I'm like, what? 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 You know, she was saying it with such like vigor. Like I, I didn't know what was wrong. Like it's like she spotted a gold mine or something. I didn't know what she was talking about. And she shows me these fur slipper-looking shoes, but they are like a bright pink and they have fur on them. And I'm like, okay, I've never seen shoes like that. Like what are those? Those are magnificent. And she's like, oh, uh, trust me, trust me, Angela. These are gonna be the next big thing. I have to buy these, I have to buy these for you. And I'm like, okay, like wh where did you see them? Uh, no, trust me, I've been seeing them. I, I, saw, I forget what site I was, but I was shopping and I saw them. Trust me, now they're here. They're gonna be everywhere soon. I, I have to get them for you, I have to get them for you. And you know, I was out, like I said, for her, but it was near my birthday and they weren't that expensive. As I said, they were in Urban Outfitters and the ones in Urban Outfitters were only $15. You can actually still check them out um, online. And so I said, all right, $15, I tried them on. And they had two different colors, I think black and the pink, but of course, knowing me, I had to get the pink color. So, ta-da! Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, you might be saying, no, those are hideous. But sometimes things are so ugly, they're beautiful. It's like a bad movie that's good. Like sometimes a movie is so bad it's good. That's this. A lot of the times when I uh, wanna know if I uh, look good in an outfit, I'll ask my husband, honey, what do you think of this? And he'll say, that is the ugliest thing I have ever seen. And those are magic words to my ears. Because I am over the top and gaudy. And he isn't. So if he doesn't like it, 
it means I've achieved my goal of being over the top and gaudy. And these are over the top. I mean, look at that. They are, first of all, they are a bright color. They are kind of like a, like a coral pink. They're not so much of as a hot pink like my nails now. Before in the other video I had orange now, now I have this is a bright pink. So it's not so much a bright, bright pink, but it, it, it is bright and it is um, a little brighter in person, I said. I don't know if the brightness is necessarily showing on camera, but it's more of a coral, but it's still bright and beautiful for summer. And it's lightweight and super, super comfortable. And of course it has this, the fur up here. Now this is, like I said, from Urban Outfitters. This pair happens to be, and it was for $15. So this is the faux fur. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But as I said before, you're going to start seeing these all over the place. And I did do a quick little uh, Google search to try to see what brands were selling them. And yes, in fact, these are all over the place in a plethora of different uh, price ranges. You have the um, ones from Urban Outfitters for $15. You, they sell them at Steve Madden, Madden um, Topshop. Uh, Givenchy has a pair, and then of course they have the Puma ones are probably um, the most popular ones right now because I think Rihanna was spotted out seeing them. Yeah, you're probably shaking your head now going like, okay, now I know what you're talking about because you've probably seen that shot of Rihanna and the Puma for slides. And uh, so yeah, Puma has them and just all over the place. If you put in for slides, um, into um, Google, you'll just see a whole litany of different um, brands and different price ranges. And if you want to try out this brand, there's absolutely no excuse not to. There is no like, oh, I can't afford it because, you know, only the Givenchy ones look good or anything. These, the Urban Outfitter ones, look just as cute. They're comfortable. I really think these are sort of like the UGG of the summer. And like I said, I know a lot of people don't like the UGGs and certainly the uh, quote unquote fashion gods, but you know how I feel about them, will probably say, you know, nope, nope, these shouldn't leave the house. These should only be house shoes. But once again, I don't like to follow those rules. So I'm not listening to that. And I like my Uggs. They're like beautiful little cushions on my feet. So if I can have a version of that for the summer, I'm going for it and I think these are really it and you know like it or not fashion gods you're gonna start seeing these all over the place so if you guys want to pick up a pair I'm going to link a bunch of different um, types um, that I saw for you in a blog post that I'll be doing to accompany this uh, video on my blog at MostlyMaple.com as well as link these. So what do you guys think? Are you for the first slides or do you think they're hideous? I really do wanna wanna know what you guys think. So go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think of the first slides. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's youtube.com backslash mostly maple blog as well as to subscribe to my blog which is at uh, mostly maple.com and if you check on my blog you'll see a let's be social section and that has a link to all the, my other social media accounts like my instagram account and twitter and all that 
which is um, at mostly underscore maple. So go ahead and give me a follow there too. I'd really appreciate it. And like always, I'm here to remind you that this is Angie. I hope you have a good day. And remember, shoes were made for walking. So get ready, girls. Start walking.